So someone sent me this 24 volt O drive uh, version 3.6 in the post because they're having trouble updating the firmware on it. Um, so they've sent it to me to see if I can reflash the firmware on it and get it up and running. They've also sent me the ST link that you can connect directly to the board just in case the DFU mode doesn't work. So let's power this up and see what's going on with it. So first of all I'm going to connect it up to a 12 volt supply and limit the current to around 1 amp. So I power that up. So I've got a power light, that's good. Now connect it up to the PC. So I'll start Anaconda 64 bit version. Also have a look at device manager. You are not being seen. Right, so I'm plugging it. Plugging it back in again. Nope, there's no connection whatsoever to that. So I'm going to turn the power off. Unplug that. That's turned off. Make sure. Unplug the red lead. So I'm going to put this in DFU mode just to see if it communicates because there's no connection on USB whatsoever so I've just got to peel this sticker off here if I can get it and that reveals these switches on here as you can see there's run DFU and there's can no resistance and can 120 ohms so I'm going to flip this one over to DFU like that, leave that one on 120 and we'll connect it back up see if anything comes back up on the screen plug that in turn it back on straight away I get a connection so where did you appear STM device in DFU mode so that's what it's come up with so at least it's communicating with it Let's minimize that. Right, go on to O drive. Try that again with a new mic. Right, so docs, uh, O drive tool, uh, device firmware update. So O drive version 3.4 or earlier, DFU is not supported on these devices. But because this is a version 3.6, we can go ahead and flash without an external programmer. So that is the external programmer. So we shouldn't need to use that. You can use it on version 3.6, but because it's got DFU mode, we'll try that first. And it has actually connected via DFU mode. So we'll give this a go. To update the O drive to the newest firmware release, simply open up the terminal and run the following command. Okay, so Anaconda, Three, open that up a bit. So O drive to DFU. Uh, waiting for O drive exception in thread two. Okay, there's other ways of doing this. So let's close Anaconda. You can put in custom firmware if you want to, so you can download a hex file and upload that. Troubleshooting if you've got any problems. O drive version 3.5 and newer, so this is version 3.6. So flip the dip switch that says DFU run to DFU and then power cycle the board. We've done that. If that alone doesn't work, also connect pin GPIO or general purpose input output 6 to ground. After you're done upgrading firmware, don't forget to put the switches back to the run position. Yep, definitely won't work otherwise. Upgrade firmware with a different DFU tool. That's the one. So make sure you download the hex file here. So click there. So we're on firmware version 0.5.1. O-Drive tool connects much faster as a side effect, which is a good thing. 
So yeah, this is the one we want. And this board is a version 3.6, 24 volts, and you want the hex file, not the elf file. So that one, please. That's downloading there. So I've done that. I've got the hex file. Windows, you can use the DFU SE app from ST. Download the tool from here. Right, so get software. That's the one we want, get software. Accept the license, read, 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 accept, of course. I have read and understood the terms and conditions. Download. Right, so I should have an email from that. Start your download. Download now. Uh, unfortunately, the link you clicked didn't work. Don't worry. Here are the steps you can take to get your download started. Ensure you're using the same browser used to make the initial request, which I did. No, I didn't. Try it in Google Chrome. And it's downloading. So it has to be in the same browser that you registered on. So show in folder. Let's cut that out of there. Paste. Right click and drag. Extract. Yep. Now let's make sure I'm doing everything correctly. So download the tool from here. Unfortunately, they make you create a login. They did. Sorry about that. That's fine. After install the tool, launch DFU file manager, which probably got added to the start menu as DFU file manager. Let's run it. Install that software. Next. Next, install. Finish. So, DFU file manager is what we want to run. So it's under ST microelectronics, DFU file manager. Select, I want to generate a DFU file from S19. I want to generate, yes. Click the button that says that. So that's S19 or hex. There is the file, open that. Leave all the other settings as default and click the generate button. Generate. Save the output file as O drive firmware DFU. O drive firmware, just to make sure I've got it right. Might as well copy it. Control V, make sure that's under C, O drive firmware. Save. Success. Okay. Force the O drive into DFU mode, which I have done as per the instructions above. How to force DFU mode. In the top left, it should now be connected to STM device in DFU mode. Let's go to. ST microelectronics that one demo so available DFU devices STM device in DFU mode this is what we're looking for okay in the bottom right section called upgrade or verify action click the button choose upgrade or verify action choose Locate the O drive firmware DFU we made before. Well, that is C O drive firmware DFU. Click the upgrade button. File correctly loaded. Targeting erase phase. It's looking promising. Upgrading.
Upgrade successful, that's a good sign. Congratulations, your O-Drive should now be flashed. Turn off the power to the O-Drive and set the dip switch back to run mode. And then we'll give it a test. So I'll power it down. That's gone. Put that in run mode. Power it on again. It sees it. Perfect. Setting up the device. It can see it. Uh, what have you seen it as? O-Drive version 3.6 CDC interface is set up and ready to go. Happy days. Is it in lib USB? It is. Interface 2. Right, let's try connecting with it. So go into Anaconda. O drive tool. Connected, it can see it. So let's have a look. V bus voltage 11.95. Yeah, it's close enough. Well, that seems to be working. Right, now to test it. So I'm going to plug it into some motors and give it a test. Now all we need is a motor and a rotary encoder somewhere. Ah, there's one. So turn it on, plug the USB in. It's good sound. No drive reconnected, that was quick. Must be the new firmware. Right, so I'll open up my configuration for my motors. Right, I'm going to load my config on it. That's saved, now reboot. Reboot. Disconnect, reconnect, connected. I'm definitely going to do this to my O drive. So now, full calibration sequence. See if it does this. Control V, go. Yes. Right now, turn it on to closed loop control. See, closed loop control. Right, let's put some set points in. Control C, Control V, enter. Oops, cannot write to property position set point. Why can't you write to set point? So it turns out I couldn't get the latest firmware version working in closed loop control mode. Well, I haven't got a lot of time to look into it, so I reverted back to firmware version 0.4.12. Put it back on again. Let's do a different firmware. Here's our tool, firmware update. Get the ST file from here. It's May 7th, so let's go for this one. 3.6, 24 volt hex. So this time it's this one. Open that. Generate. I want to call it that, please. Save. Success. OK. Cancel that. Open up ST Microelectronics. Demo, STM in DFU mode, yep, choose the file, which is now 04, 1-2, that one, file correctly loaded, upgrade, yes, upgrading, raising existing, Transferring. 
success. So quick that. Disconnect by turning the power off. Go to run. Turn it back on again. It's on motor one, so control C, control V, enter. 11.99 volts. Position control, control C, control V. Let's put all these in again. Reconnected. Right, do a calibration. When it calibrates, close loop control. And let's try set point. Yes. That works. Nice and quiet as well. Right, let's try under down. No dramas whatsoever. And back to zero again. Perfect. Right. Put that back to motor zero just to test that out sure we fine reconnected right full calibration sequence on this one Cool. and close loop control control C control V set point 10,000 awesome so that now is fully working Get that going. There you go. One working O drive version 3.6. So all it needed was the DFU. So it didn't need its external flash from the ST link, just needed DFU mode. So now I can package that up and send it back. Mm -hmm.